Greetings and salutations, everyone. My name is Smarno. Welcome back to Smarno Plays. Uh, I have another Quirks request for Minecraft, so I figured I'd get back into this. Um, so here we are. I believe it's day fifty-seven. Yeah, day fifty-seven. Um, I wasn't really sure exactly what I wanted to do, but uh, one at one point I want to build an infinite tree farm. Uh, probably not automatic, just to make it easier for myself. But we also want to build a road back to the other town to kind of build our infrastructure up. Um, but yeah, so here we are. Uh, I think we're going to do some more, maybe half hour episodes, make it digestible again like before. Uh, what we should do is, I believe we finished what we were doing last time, right? Yeah, I mean, it's sort of, it kind of finished. Um, sort of. Kind of. I have a lot I wanted to do with this. Uh, right now, I think we're okay. Uh, I probably should block this out. I do kind of want to use that for something. Not sure what yet, though. Maybe put in some, a little bit for sheeps. My little sheepy friends. Yeah, buddy, what's going on? So I think we're gonna. Oh, yeah. Hey, kitty. Do I even have? I do have. I do have a wall, but I don't have any gates. And so we're gonna need two gates there. Um, oh, really? I think of how I would want to do this part. I kind of want to lock the sheep in here while I have the opportunity to. Um, but I guess I could always come grab him, grab him later. Alright. So I guess with that in mind, what we're going to end up doing instead for now is we're going to build ourselves a couple of shovels. down here too we could use if it gets dark before we come back up. Really? Zero. Zilch. Nada even. I guess what we're going to do then first is, uh, well, first we're going to eat something. Well, I guess it's about time that we, uh, really? Okay, well, whatever. I think we're going to have to build ourselves a little, uh, um, gravel farm again. Bro! Hell. See, it's dark. Where's the moon? Just say, where's the moon? <laughs> Guess it's just spooky storm time. Gah. Whatever. Gets to it less. I do not know why. Just when I go into their beds, that would be probably the best way to keep a track of that. Let's 
see if I have. Oop! Ow! Gravel farm already or not? Still the fishermen down here? Not much, bud. world is seriously cavernous, so we kind of got to be careful when we're going around. It's got to be, it's got to be nighttime by now. It's got to be. Really? Good heavens. Alright, well, apparently it is not night time yet. Somehow. Don't, don't ask me how. It, it just isn't. Quit asking. I don't think I've ever done anything down here. Is it night yet? Now it is. Okay. What a waste of a day. <laughs> Just wanted to be ominous all day, I guess. Okay. Now we can start work on getting ourselves ready for a uh, little quarry. couple of doors. That'll do. Hmm. What's up, of course. Okay. I didn't know what was up on top of that hill. Yeah, I'll just come down here. Build like right into here. Yeah, that torch 
spot's not going to work. Should probably shear some sheep as well while we're at it. Hey, bud. Would you like to be friends? I would. I feel like I sound like a serial killer right now. <laughs> yeah, it's not intentional. I swear. Yeah, buddy, what's up? So I have been doing research on modding recently. Uh, I haven't gotten really anywhere with it yet. I've really just been reading up on it. Um, so we're getting there. Um, although I will say that all my reading, um, I ended up what I was like the tutorials that they had on the website. Uh, the like I think that was the official Minecraft website. Uh, all the information they had was for Bedrock, which we are not a Bedrock player, we are Java. So I don't know if that's going to work or not, so I might have to start all over, I'm not really sure. It's a lot of work, but doesn't seem like it's too terribly hard for most of it. first. we're going to want to build ourselves a couple more pickaxe. sand. I feel like I have sand somewhere. Hmm. Is it in here? Yeah, 
There's a little bit of sand. Not a lot, but it'll do in a pinch. Oh, actually, before we go up. Let's break this in two, turn these into stairs, and turn these into walls. We can come over here and kind of block this off. Oh. I swear I know what I'm doing. I've only been playing this game for. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I think since at least 2013. But yes, uh, like I was saying, uh, I'm starting to figure out modding. Um, I haven't tried it yet. I've been pretty busy with real life stuff. I may end up doing their tutorials first just so I can get a better hang of it. Uh, before I try my own stuff. I still want to make a uh, new dimension with the you know, of its own biomes and everything. Um, I've already figured out what I want to replace swamps with. So that should be fun. night again. That's what I wanted to do.
Well, I think it takes six glass to make windows. Yeah. Now we're going to. Ooh, I could replace those both. Um, they're both kind of ridiculous. Lately, I've been more for um, putting trap doors so you can attack through them instead of having to open up the door and expose yourself. But, uh, well, I'm just kind of feeling that right now. Oh, I should probably put a, uh, a chest in here as well. Maybe right over here. I had a suggestion for one of the creatures I should start with first, but I'm going to have to learn a little bit of programming for what I would need for it first, but it was, um, since I kind of wanted to start with, you know, for fantastical creatures rather than aliens, even though aliens are more my forte, um, I was thinking I have a race called the Larci, which are, uh, pretty much like flying axolotls. They live in swamps and they're su they're supposed to be super friendly and uh, the idea would be is that uh, if you walked up around them um, they would heal you. Possibly if you fed them or something, you know, try to make it you know, not overpowered. I'm kind of against overpowered stuff generally. I like things that have pros and cons. So thinking, um, the first biome I was thinking of doing for you know, my own dimension, if I can figure out how to do that, um, I was thinking of converting, instead of swamp, replacing swamp with muskeg, since I'm from Alaska, um, which would have its own set of, like, difficulty to it. The water would be red, of course, which is like, you know, that's what water looks like in a muskeg. Um, and it would have, like, small bits of terrain above the water table. Um, but the grass for the land would also be uh, the same as what you, I guess you could call. Where are you, kitty? Must be right underneath my own uh, friend. Um, that's right, I called your friend. Uh, so, like, it would be kind of. Um, so, like, you would have effectively have lily pads, but they would just look like grassland, but you, could, you would sink through it. I know it would be obnoxious, but that's kind of what muskeg is. Just an idea. Maybe black sands. Oh. Just brainstorming. If I did it, I'm not sure if I would have it in this save or a different save. I'd probably have it in this one. Um, okay. I 
Yeah, buddy. I could build downwards too here. Like maybe start one right here. should say. Yeah, well, be fine, I guess. I mean, no. Okay, I'll do one more thing. That's fine. of demos I want to play for you guys. Um, one is sort of like a fun little, it looks like a crocodile Zelda game. And the other one is a, a creature collector like Pokemon. Both of which are not out yet as of the making of this video. Outside of demos. Kitty. We're gonna start working our way down to zero so we have another entrance to the deep dark. Hey, copper. Completely useless. That was a close one. That would have ended badly. Oof. Okay. Well, with that in mind, uh, oof, that. okay. Well, we're just gonna keep trudging along here. Go all the way over there. Just 
look at that. There's a cave right there, too. No, that's the direction we're really trying to head. That would also make us a bit... Maybe not, because that would make us a bit, uh, you know, exposed. A bit more exposed, I guess I should say. which is kind of what we're working on for current episodes. We're going to come over here, though. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at all of them skellies. Well, we're going to deal with these skeletons first. Come on, bud. Come this way. Same side as me, thank you. Oh, look at that. One left. Bye. Okay. With these skeletons removed, we're going to head back down into our cave real quick. Hey, Spood. Are you following me? He's following me. Anyway, that's a good spot for us to stop for this episode. Tune in next time. We're going to continue working our way down to level zero again. Um, I will see you guys then here on Smart Blaze. Bye.